What's good y'all, Drake Talks coming at you live with another video. Now we just hit a garage sale. It was like the second or third day after it already started. And we got a lot of shit. Picked up 35 t-shirts for 13 bucks. Average price, 37 cents. It was a fill a bag sale. Everything is already fucking dirt cheap, but whatever. Most of it was NASCAR, some old, some new. Um, we got some wrestling tees mixed in there. Since it was like fucking 37 cents a shirt, I threw in the new ones. You know, I'll sell them for like 15 free ship. It's free money, easy money. I could lot them up, whatever. It's a lot of money to be made uh, regardless. So let's start off with some of the easier ones here. Uh, it's 2012 Brad Keselowski. Pretty cool graphic on the back. This one is going to be the Wrangler Collector's Edition uh, for Dale Earnhardt. It's a new one but I saw this easy 20 bucks right there. This one, this is gonna be, I think his name is like Casey Mears. Uh, dope National Guard graphic, a newer one. A newer Dale Earnhardt, pretty cool graphic on the back. Uh, great condition, looks unworn. It's gonna be the Daytona 500 champion for 2004. It's got Dale Jr. and Dale Sr. on there. Pretty cool, it's, I think it's 2008, so it's a newer one, but regardless, it's still good. So this one's a 2010, all over print, Jeff Gordon. Uh, it's just like black and white. Still a cool graphic, so 20 bucks, 25, whatever. Dale Sr. camo t-shirt. A vintage Matt Kenseth. Uh, it's pretty faded. You know, some of these have a lot of wear, like some like holes, but it's got good distressing, pretty sick. Got this, uh, you know, 2000s Jeff Gordon. Pretty simple print on here, no all over going on, uh, but a nice essential front and back. Here we got a 2000 Petty Enterprises. Uh, so it's got all the petties on the front and on the back you got this dope artwork. So it's kind of like an art tee. Dale Jr. here, pretty cool graphic. Very simple, like I said, $15 t-shirts all day long. New, newer Corvette promo. It's got some yellowing stains, but whatever, pretty cool tee. 90s high noon with the Eagles embroidered, pearl snapped. Uh, this is easy, 25 bucks. Thought this one was super sick. It's a Ford SVT Lightning promo. Uh, this one's pretty nasty. It's got a printed tag, uh, but I, you know, still thought it was super sick. Those SVT, you know, pickups are no fucking joke. Uh, 2002 Mark Martin Tour t-shirt, the Viagra, which is pretty fucking funny. Uh, it's got all the dates on the back. This one is pretty dope. 2008, I believe, Jeff Gordon all over print. I love this graphic. This one's super cool. It's got the Matrix. Uh, vibe going on. The back hit is actually insane. I thought this one was pretty sick too. 2003 Jeff Gordon big face portrait hit. Uh, the detail on it is actually really sweet. And on the back you got all the all the driver information. Another like 2002 Mark Martin out of the blue Viagra car. Good little design on the back. It says just blue right by it. Like I said 2010 Talladega very simple, but you know, good graphics. Depop girls buy them up. Never heard of them, uh, but like I said, we're throwing them in the bag as we were going. Right here is a pretty good one. It's on a Toltex uh, tag, Mark Martin, and it's like wrapping around. So the back only has that car, but it's like a wraparound side graphic. The termination in the back got the big hit with the Halloween. Kyle Bush with the Pizza Ranch going on. Nice hit. It's a newer one, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, Brad Keselowski, all over print. Uh, damn near like Rusty Wallace, the Miller Lite number two. Early 2000s, Mark Martin Viagra cars. Good graphics, Mark Martin stuff sells decently well. You got a photo of him on the back. Martin farewell tour. Got his picture right there on the back. Yeah, big graphic. $15 one, Jeff Gordon. It's a newer piece. Danica Patrick. Very simple. Newer Harley Davidson, pretty decent graphic. Shop it on the back. Now we're gonna get into the wrestling shirts to finish it off. Uh, we got this CM Punk. So apparently his t-shirts are actually, actually go for quite, quite some money. So this has got a dope uh, front and back hit. John Cena, never give up C Nation. Men's size, it's got the, the sleeve hit right there. Big print on the front. And the big back hit. 2007 Age of Orton. Pretty cool. That was like when I watched him growing up. 
RKO with the big snake. And you got the back hit strike first, 2002 Undertaker. So this was my favorite. When I saw this, I was hoping that they'd have more, but they didn't. I was hoping for like some Edge, you know, some Degeneration X. Maybe they do have more. Uh, maybe they'll have another garage sale. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Good fade, sick graphic on the front. And then the back, you got the tombstone with all his faces in there. What's good, y'all? Look at the hair. It's fucking nuts. Today was chaotic. Like, I was not planning on hitting garage sales because there usually isn't any right now this time of year. But today, I think it was citywide, my city and the city next door. And it just got out of hand. But we got a lot of shit, so uh, just ignore the hair for now. Yeah, so this first one is a fucking Randy Moss Grail. It's like a little rat T vibe, but it's a rookie of the year. He's the real thing. He has skills. Just chuck him the ball. He has attitude. 19 teams passed him by and he's going to make them all pay. Just an absurd graphic. Super sick. $1. This next one was also $1 from the same garage sale. It's a dope 1990. Uh, it's like a racing crew neck. Super soft, buttery fade going on front and back. Colors are absolutely insane. It's on a Hanes 50-50, uh, super sick little thing, $1. The dope Carhartt hoodie with a little spell out, super heavy quality. Uh, they wanted eight bucks, they didn't get it, they got five. Now this next one, I got 16 pieces for 10 bucks. I was driving from my city to the one next door, and between them, there's a bunch of fucking cornfields. There was a big cardboard sign that said sale, so I drove down a gravel road, there was nothing in sight. I drove down to motherfucker for like five minutes and finally saw another big cardboard sign, pull into some trees, and there was a fucking house. Lady walks out. I'm like, hey, is there a garage sale? She goes, yeah, it's way back there in the shed. I am I walk about a couple football fields and end up in a shed, all right? And then there's another shed behind that. So I follow her and then they're just, it's just open, just clothes everywhere, just tables of clothes and shit. There's so much going on. So I dug through it for like 30 minutes to an hour. Came out 16 pieces for 10 bucks. Uh, so the first one is gonna be this dope uh, Philadelphia Eagles rugby. It's got like the elbow, the elbow pads right here. It's like a, yeah, it's like a Eagles rugby. It's a 2002 SpongeBob promo. Get that clean. That's a dope one. Be the sick sprint promo. So. Uh, lately I've been hitting all these fucking weird promos and I'm, I'm not mad about it. I like it. Um, the heat broker on Instagram really get, got me into like these weird promos. So it's like a sprint promo. I see the nine, the swirl, pretty cool art on the front. It says nine cents, no nonsense. No idea what that is, but it's a dope nineties tea. New vineyard vines. These are $20 flips for me all day. This one's on a Galt sand blank made in usa it's a super sick it's like a rug it's like a really heavy t-shirt new york i believe it's the new york yankees like in 80s like a late 80s raglan blank it's on the jersey's grid tag so i think it's late 80s early 90s super clean buttery blank 1997 looney tunes taz tee pretty cool chest hit a 2000 homer simpson Pretty cool on a very good tag, the Delta Pro weight. We're getting to the good stuff, just wait. We got a sexy Fruit of the Loom tag, size XL. Uh, it's just like a sick car shirt. Mopar in the park, you know. I love old car shirt. Bo, I think that's how you say it, like Jerbo jeans. Little spell up piece right here. Super sick 90s. Youth, CCM, Mighty Ducks, J. This one was actually free. Uh, I saw like a box of shit laying over here and I was like, can I go through that? She goes, yeah, it's all super dirty. It's free if you want. I, I was going to throw it away. A sick bum equipment striped hoodie. Like, this thing is sweet. It's like, remember when the guest striped shit was crazy? I think this one just fucking fits it. Bum equipment arc embroidered going across striped hoodie. A uh, starter Florida Gators crew neck little sleeve hit hit on the back neck. This was gonna be thrown away as well. A champion reverse weave um, with a little weird faded spot in the middle, but whatever, it was free. <laughs> this champion spell out 90s tag, 
Um, she's she's gonna throw this away too. This is the last one, the banger. You probably saw it if you follow me on Instagram. This Motley Crew, Dr. Feel Good Tea. I think it's 89 or 1990 dated. Uh, the back it's crazy. Got the doctor. Crew fans are the best, fuck the rest. Fruit of the Loom, made in USA, size large. Uh, this thing is so sick. The Brockham licensing is really faded, but the ones I saw on like eBay, I think it's like 1989 or 1990. Hype about the sick Undertaker. The Motley Crew, the reverse weave was super sick, but yeah, we did pretty good today. I'm super happy. Have not really hit much for garage sales uh, at the end of the season, but it just came out of nowhere citywide, so we had to get after it. Uh, yeah, I gotta go shower and eat and shit, so this stuff will be for sale. Appreciate you guys so much. Much love. Peace.